Assalamu alaikum, uh, my dear student. Today I am going to discuss about Edexcel IGCAC Certificate in Physics. Chapter uh, 4 Momentum Edexcel IGCAC Physics, page number 34 to 41. All content applies only to triple science. Presented by I am Jahangir Alam, physics teacher. My contact number is 017179795. Specification, uh, Edexcel specification for this chapter relation uh, between uh, relation among momentum mass and velocity use the ideas of momentum to explain safety feature of a car use the conservation of momentum to calculate the mass velocity and momentum of the object use the relation shape force equal to change in momentum by time taken demonstrate an understanding of Newton's third law of motion momentum momentum is the uh, product of mass and velocity it is denoted by small p p equal to m into v here m stand for stand for a mass and v for velocity mass is measured in kilogram that means kg velocity is measured in meter per second meter per second so momentum is measured in kilogram meter per second kg meter per second momentum uh, is a vector quantity because it has both magnitude and direction so momentum has both magnitude and direction its direction is the same as the velocity uh, look at the diagram the greater the mass of the rugby player the greater its mo momentum so momentum depends on two things two things mass and velocity because momentum is the product of mass and velocity there is a, a simple mathematical problem question number one calculate the momentum of a rugby player mass 120 kg moving at 3 meter per second speed we know uh, momentum p equals to mass into velocity so uh, here mass of the rugby player is 120 kg 120 kg and uh, velocity is 3 meter per second so 120 into 3 360 unit of momentum is kg meter per second remember very important unit of momentum is kg meter per second it is a very simple uh, calculation then, then next question number two calculate the mass of a car that when moving at a, at 25 meter per second has a momentum of 20,000 kg meter per second here momentum we know we know the formula uh, momentum is denoted by small p p equals to m into p but we have to calculate mass of the car mass of the car we have to calculate the mass of the car so uh, m equals to uh, p divided by v here uh, p is uh, 20000 uh, momentum is 20000 and v v is the velocity 25 uh, meter per second so uh, mass equal to mass equal to p divided by v here p uh, 20000 20000 and here um, speed 25 so uh, mass will be mass will be 800 kg because unit of mass is kg kg there are uh, some uh, fill in the blanks type question here uh, mass and velocity is given we have to calculate uh, momentum on the other hand, uh, second one, um, momentum and uh, velocity is given, but uh, we have to calculate mass. So, 
in this case, in this regard, we can remember this thing by using triangle form momentum equals to mass and velocity. When uh, we have to calculate momentum, then we use uh, mass into velocity. When we require uh, say mass, mass, then uh, mass equal to uh, p p divided by p p divided by p. When we require uh, when we require a velocity, then uh, p divided by mass. Clear? So we can calculate all this mathematical problem by using this triangular form of formula momentum equal to mass into velocity then uh, relation between force and momentum look at the diagram if we apply force of an object then this force changes the momentum of the object that means if the object was at rest after application of the force the object comes in motion so uh, it acquires a momentum a force will cause the velocity of an object to change and therefore also its momentum so force will cause the velocity of an object to change and therefore uh, also its momentum because momentum is a product of mass and velocity the greater the force the faster the momentum changes then uh, momentum momentum uh, momentum acceleration and force Uh, considering a body of mass m changing the velocity from u initial velocity u to final velocity v in time t so we know acceleration equals to change in velocity by time taken so a equals to v minus u divided by t multiplying both sides of this equation by mass small m gives m a equal to m into v minus u divided by t so m a equal to m v minus m u divided by t so m a equal to force we know uh, we know force uh, f equal to m a so we can uh, write f equal to m v minus m u divided by force next one force equal to uh, momentum momentum change divided by time taken for the change force equal to momentum change divided by time taken for the change force is measured in newton force is measured in newton uh, the short form is capital n change in momentum is measured in uh, kg meter per second that means kilogram meters per second time is measured in second Now, a new type um, mathematical problem. Question number one. Calculate the force required to change the momentum of a car 24,000 kg meter per second over a 6 second. So, uh, that means change in momentum. Here, change in momentum is 24,000. 24,000. And uh, time required for this change is 6, uh, six seconds. So we know force equal to uh, momentum change by time taken. So 24,000 divided by 6. So force equal to 4,000 Newton. Here force equal to 4,000 Newton. Second one. Calculate the time taken for a force of 6,000 Newton to cause the momentum of a truck to change by 42,000 kg meter per second here momentum is given 
and force also given but we have to find out the time taken we know force equal to momentum uh, change divided by time taken so time taken equals to momentum change by force so a momentum uh, change is uh, 42000 and force here is uh, 6000 so uh, time required uh, for the change is 7 second Next, it is a fill in the blanks. Uh, here, uh, we use this formula: force equal to momentum change, momentum change divided by time taken. Time taken. Here, uh, first one, uh, here momentum change is given and uh, time, uh, time taken also given. So we have to find out the force. So by using this formula, we can uh, calculate this one. So 8000 divided by 40 second. So uh, force will be 200 Newton. In the second, um, uh, fill in the gaps, fill in the gap. So here uh, force is given and time taken. So we have to uh, find out the change in momentum. So when uh, we have to find out the change in momentum by momentum change so force into time taken force here force into time taken so force uh, so momentum change equal to momentum change equal to force into time taken here force uh, force uh, in second one force is 25 and time is uh, 20 so momentum change will be 500 kg meter per second 500 kg meter per second and third one uh, third one uh, here force and momentum uh, are given we have to find out the time taken so time taken uh, equal to time taken time taken equal to momentum change momentum change momentum change divided by force divided by force here momentum change uh, momentum change is uh, 3000 3000 divided by uh, divided by force 500 so answer will be 6 second next one a momentum change um, and time taken is given we have to uh, find out the force same same type problem uh, to first one then uh, last one last one here a uh, force and momentum change is uh, given no oh, sorry, oh, sorry uh, force and time taken is given but time in minutes we have to convert we have to convert it into second by multiplying 60 60 because we know one minute equals to 60 second so in this case uh, momentum change equal to force into time so here uh, force uh, force uh, here force 4 newton and time 2 minute but we have to find uh, convert it into second so then 480 kg meter per second now momentum conservation or conservation of momentum momentum is conserved in any collision or explosion provided no external forces act on the colliding or exploding bodies that means without any external force total momentum before collision is equal to the total momentum after collision so the initial momentum of the yellow car has been
conserved and transferred to the red car. Question number one. A truck of mass 0.5 kg moving at 1.2 meter per second collides and remains attached to the another. Initially stationary truck of mass 1.5 kg. Calculate the common velocity of the trucks after the collision. We have to uh, find out the common velocity here. Common velocity. That means after collision, these two truck remains attached to each other. Remains attached to each other. In this case, uh, we have to find out the common velocity after collision. After collision, first total momentum before collision. We know momentum equals to mass into velocity. So uh, momentum of the uh, 0 0.5 kg truck, 0 0.5 kg into uh, speed initial speed 1.2 meter per second, so 0 0.6 kg meter per second. And momentum of 1.5 kg truck, 1.5 kg, the initial speed of the second truck, second truck zero. So uh, momentum will be zero kg meter per second. So total initial momentum. That means before collision, 0 0.6 kg meter per second. Momentum is conserved in the collision, so total momentum after collision will be 0 0.6 kg meter per second. So a total momentum, uh, total momentum equal to a total mass into velocity. So after collision, uh, two trucks are combined together. So total mass will be uh, 0.5 plus 1.5, 2 kg. That's why. We write here uh, 2 kg total mass 2 kg and a combined velocity is V after collision. So uh, 0 0.6 divided by 2. So common velocity is 0 0.3 meter per second. Now, uh, question number two related to conservation uh, conser conservation of momentum. A train wagon of mass 800 kg moving at 4 meter per second collides and remains attached to another wagon mass 1200 kg that is moving in the same direction at 2 meter per second. Calculate the common velocity of the wagon after the collision. Okay, total momentum before collision. So we know momentum uh, equals to uh, P equals to mass into velocity. So momentum of the uh, 800 kg wagon uh, equal to 800 kg into 4 meter per second. Mm, so uh, because uh, uh, 4 meter per second is the initial velocity of the wagon uh, before collision. So 32 k 3200 kg meter per second. And momentum of the 1200 kg truck equal to 1200 kg into 2 meter per second so 2400 kg meter per second so total initial momentum 5600 kg meter per second so momentum is conserved in the collision in the collision so total momentum after collision will be 5600 kg meter per second total momentum equals to total mass into velocity so here total mass uh, because two object uh, two object uh, combined each other so 800 uh, plus 1200 uh, so 2000 kg 2000 kg is the total mass total mass and common velocity is v after collision so 5600 kg meter per second equal to 2000 kg into v so v equals to 5600 divided by 2000 so common velocity of the two uh, wagon 2.8 meter per second this is the common velocity
there is a fill in the gap fill in the gaps below momentum of an object is equal to its mass multiplied by its velocity okay momentum equals to mass multiplied by its velocity momentum has a direction same as the velocity and is measured in meter uh, kilogram meter per second in any uh, interaction of bodies where no external force acts on the bodies momentum is conserved in snow car a head on collision of a white ball with red ball can result in the red ball moving off with the same initial velocity of the white ball this is an example of momentum conservation